Hey, hey, Swifties, it's Rachel. So today I'm going to be doing Fearless Flashbacks. Recently I've been getting a lot of new subscribers, so I thought it would be fun to share with you how I became a Swifty and some things that happened in my early Swifty days, as you might say. Um, and yeah, so that is that. And let's get started. So um, first, I became a Swifty because my cousin Mariah... Um, we shared a bedroom, and she had her computer, and I was on mine, and I looked across, and she was playing this music video. So I was like, Mariah, what are you listening to? So I went over, and I watched it with her, and the song was called Love Story, <laughs> and um, I watched the video, and I instantly was obsessed with it. Obsessed with it to the point that I was singing it all the time and then the third grade talent show um, came around and I actually auditioned with the song unfortunately a um, fifth grader you know who was moving on to middle school the next year actually beat me out um, and I ran out of school crying and I remember telling my mom that is my song you know um, I'm not gonna because they had told me I could sing another song and they were like, and, um, this is my song, and, like, this is the only song that I, you know, I want to sing, and, you know, because it was my obsession, and, um, we had actually bought Fearless because, um, I was rehearsing with it and singing with it every day to, in case I did get in the talent show, um, with the song. But what I actually didn't know is that I actually was Fearless, um, now looking back on it because I actually did the next day go and sing for my um, the leader of the talent show and I said I want to do this song and it was All American Girl by Carrie Underwood if you guys were curious because um, I literally listened to Taylor and Carrie Underwood um, but I remember going back and I was like you know what this isn't gonna stop me and it didn't and now looking back, I was like, oh my gosh, I was fearless. And, you know, back then it was probably like, oh, you know, whatever to me. But now it's just like, oh my gosh, I was fearless. And it just like touches my heart. Um, but after I didn't make the talent show, I pretty much just listened to Fearless nonstop. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love this album. And I started asking everybody, I was like, um you know, do you like Taylor Swift? And if they said yes, I'd be like, oh, what song? And I remember this other girl um, named Rachel. She um, she was like, oh, my favorite song is Picture to Burn. And I was like, oh, yeah, I like that one. But in my mind, I was like, I don't remember if I looked that one up. Um, what was helpful is my mom had actually gotten me a computer. And when I got my computer... I would go home every day and like look up new songs that people told me by her oh this one's good this one's good and I would look up her videos like of her singing um, you know on award shows and looked at her um, music videos and all of that and I actually remember um, looking for tickets for the fearless tour I remember I actually like typed fearless tour and on the computer for Charlottesville, Virginia, because I live in Virginia, if you guys didn't know. And, um, it was sold out, and I remember I was really upset. Um, but I was like, oh, you know, it was one of those things where you kind of, you, when you're little, you're like, yeah, okay. But I remember I was like, oh. Because I was excited, because I was going to be like, mom, mom, mom. You know, they, Taylor, because, um, I, it was a quick obsession, like, Love story happened then um then I didn't get in the talent show and I with that song and then I started listening to Fearless and then I forget when it was but my mom did get me the f debut album and I remember dragging her like CD player as it was like an older one had a cord and I drag it in to the bathroom and take the longest showers um or baths just to like listen to the debut album and Fearless and learn all the words and I I remember making up these little hand signals and I'd like perform for my mom afterwards um 
you know, after I got out of the shower and all, I'd be like, you're beautiful, every little piece, love, because I didn't know it was like a piece, you know, like, a piece of you, I was like, peace, because like, yeah, oh gosh, and then, um, Invisible actually was one of my favorites too, um, but I remember just repeating and repeating those albums, um, and this is funny, one night I actually stayed in the shower so long that the smoke detector went off, because <laughs> like of all the steam, and I was like, oh, the smoke detector is going off, that's nice, um, yeah, that happened, um, ah, but actually, before my obsession with Taylor even started, in second grade we were holding a food drive at my elementary school, and, um, it was one of those where you could, like, they had, like, a picture, um, I don't have, like, a picture of Taylor, like, in my hand. Um, it was, like, a picture of Taylor, and then they'd have, like, a box, and you, like, whoever got the most votes, I guess, under their picture one or something, you know, like, the most cans or whatever, it was just a fun little thing. And I remember actually walking by, and <laughs> Taylor was, um, there, and it was... It was so real, oh my gosh. It was the picture of her sitting in the pond with the white dress, and she was holding the flower, and she was, you know, in the water. And at first, <laughs> I thought, wow, she has really big hair. Because like, at that point, <laughs> her hair was really frizzy. You know, not frizzy, that's not the word. Puffy. What am I looking for? What is the word I'm looking for? But like, you know what I'm saying? It was like really big and like she had like the corkscrew curls. And I was like, it's strange that she's in a dress in water. I remember thinking that. And um, at that point I didn't know anything about her. So I picked Carrie Underwood. Because um, my... I forget even how the Carrie Underwood thing started. Because like, that was like a phase. But Taylor's not a phase. She was a part of my life. Um... So that happened, I just, that was in second grade, and then third grade came along, and third grade was like, when Love Story came out, and like, it went on then from there, it was like, just dun 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 dun, dun like, like I just told you guys all that stuff. Um, then, <laughs> this is funny, um, I got a Target gift card, I think, for like, Christmas, <laughs> and I had... We had our CDs under, like, a countertop, and I had told my mom that I actually lost my Fearless copy, um, because I just wanted to get the Platinum Edition, because I had heard there were new songs on there. So, um, this came out in 2009. Yeah, this was 2009. And I was like, so, Mom, I lost it. And she's like are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, I lost it. And when we got home, I was like, oh, I found it. <laughs> but like, I, I told her that I found my regular Fearless copy. And she was like, uh-huh. And I joke my mom now. I'm like, you remember when I did that? She's like, yeah, I knew what you were up to. But I was just playing along with it. But anyways, um, that happened. Um, and then I went to my cousin's wedding. Um, I think it was in 2009. I want to say it was 2009. It was like in the summer of 2009 or 2010. But um, I went in Walmart with my mom and my dad. And we were getting things because we were leaving the next day and we wanted to have like snacks and magazines and stuff for the car ride home. Well, <laughs> I remember it was in the front of the store because I guess they were like new and stuff. And you know how they put new stuff in the front. And I walked up to it. I was like, oh my gosh, they have Taylor Swift dolls. So I, my dad told me, you can pick one out. Because I was like, please, can I have one? Can I have one? Um, and then I got this one. The, the longer skirt that goes to it is at my mom's. But I remember I was like, this one. And <sighs> feels... And I was just so obsessed with it, and I I used to, like, do her hair. I'd put it in a ponytail, and, like, uh, this... Okay, funny story also. When I was little, in, like, the Fearless era, um, 
you know how she used to draw, like, for the debut album, how in the booklet she has a heart drawn on her foot? I actually thought she had a tattoo. And then when I got this doll and she had, like, the little heart tattoo, tattoo um, on her foot, I was like, oh my gosh, she has a heart tattoo. And then when Speak Now came out, I was like, what happened to her tattoo? And I realized as I grew up that it was just a drawing. But, um, that did happen. And then, oh yeah, and then there was this magazine and I was in the grocery store with my dad and it was early 2010. It wasn't like the Speak Now era, but it was like transitioning from the Fearless Era to Speak Now era, and I saw this, and I saw that there were four giant posters, and I was like, oh my gosh, so I immediately hung them up in my room, and, um, yeah, that happened, and now you see what happened. It's all over my walls, and I used to shop at this store all the time called Justice, <laughs> if you guys remember that store. They had all the glittery stuff and things like that. And I remember it was like on the back shelves, like it was like this, and then this, and then the cash register. And they had rows and rows of tailor shirts, and I was like, oh my gosh, mom! And this is like a size, like junior 12, and feels. It's so little, I can't. Like. Like. It may look like, if I hold it up, but it's really small. I used to wear it all the time, though. Like, if you see, she has lines on, like, the print of her face because I wore it so much. And then I bought Journey, or my dad got me Journey to Fearless. The Christmas it came out, I think it was near Christmas. And I remember watching this nonstop. I still do watch it nonstop. Um, this book, it's called Taylor Swift, Her Song. I got it at a book fair in third grade. I, no, it wasn't third grade. If it has a Kanye West thing in here, it wasn't third grade. No, it was fourth grade because there's a Kanye West thing. And I remember hearing about that, and that marked when I got defensive over Taylor. You know, I was like, oh my gosh, poor Taylor. And that's when I started getting, like, really defensive over her. Fun fact. And then this copy of Fearless is actually the first Taylor CD I ever bought. And as you can see, like, this part's broken and it's scratched and this part, you know, comes undone and all. But the CD means everything to me because it started my obsession with somebody who changed my life forever and continues to make me smile every day no matter what I'm going through. And Fearless may, means so much to me because without Love Story, I might not have ever known who Taylor Swift was. Like, I'm sure if I was this age now and I had never heard of Taylor Swift or, like, gotten into her music, I would have known Shake It Off. I would have known, like, her basic songs like, you know, other people do. But I'm so glad that I heard that song one day. And I got the Fearless album and I really got into her music and her because my life has has been changed for, for <clears throat> I cannot talk my life has been changed forever and if you see this picture um hold on it's loading this is a picture of me at my dad's dealership and I had the shirt that I just showed you on this was like 2009. Like, feed us much? Wait, where is Where is it? Oh, wait, it's not even the camera. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, that's cute, isn't it? And then, I was going through my journal recently, and I found this, and I wrote it in my journal, and I wrote it the 17th of May in 2009. Taylor Swift is awesome. She's a country singer. My favorite songs are Love Story, Best Day, White Horse, You Belong With Me, Teardrops on My Guitar, and Our Song. She has won Horizon Awards, CMA Awards, and Female Artists so far. 
Her best friend is Kelly Pickler. She is an outstanding singer. She is 19 years old. She has even been on America's Got Talent with Julian Irwin. I was obsessed with that video, like, of her singing, um, I think it was Teardrops on My Guitar with her. And she said, so, she, I said, she is my favorite singer, so this is what I know about Taylor Swift. Oh. My gosh. I can't even. That just, that's so many feels. And then, what makes me really emotional is then looking at my card from Taylor, and she's like, Rachel, how could I ever even begin to thank you for how loyal you've been over the past five years? I actually have that on my wall. Like, I put what I wrote in 2009 and then her letter to me. And it's hanging on my, like, Swifties memories wall over there. I cannot talk today. I'm sorry. And it just... Oh, my gosh. And, like I said, I'm, this album changed my life forever because I found... The person who understood me and all my problems even back then like the outside and a place in this world I wasn't I was with a group of friends that you know didn't you know singled me out a lot and I remember going to her music and I still go to her music and it's 2015 and I will always go to her music and Taylor, Allison Swift, I love you, and Love Story will always be one of my favorites because it got me obsessed with Taylor and this album, Fearless, by Taylor Swift. Changed my life forever. I love you guys, and shake off those haters. Excuse me, hiccup. And, oh, and another thing is, I used to get, like, my dad's little, like, camera that I'm kind of like what I'm filming with right now, and I used to make, like, little videos. I remember making one to Crazier for my birthday premiere music video. That is embarrassing. If I ever, like, I think it's on my old computer that's in the closet, but if I ever, like, pull it off that computer, I will show you guys, because <laughs> that's funny. Okay, I love you guys, and put requests below. My social networks are in the description, and I love you guys. Bye!